Governor Hobbs says her administration is cracking down on companies that are draining the state's groundwater supply. In addition to the Saudi-owned company Fondamonte, state land officials have conducted inspections on land being leased by three other Arizona companies. Nicole Garcia has the story. Yeah, these companies are being critically looked into. A foreign company that grows alfalfa just to ship to the Middle East and one of the world's largest copper and gold mining companies. Both have something in common. They're being scrutinized by state land officials about their use of Arizona's groundwater. Officials say they recently inspected lands that are being leased by Fonda Monte and by Biner Cattle Company, which is a subsidiary of Freeport McMorrin. The lease on this land will not be renewed. The Saudi-owned company, Fondamonte, had been pumping groundwater in western Arizona for years to grow a water-intensive crop, alfalfa, which is then shipped to Saudi Arabia. The inspections that we recently ordered, which uncovered the default, which is the basis for the cancellation of the lease. Fondamonte's lease is unique in that it allows it to draw unrestricted amounts of water from the state's groundwater supply, the same water supply source that would supply water to Phoenix and other Valley cities. The foreign owned business, this is this is about um, protecting Arizona's groundwater and getting the best value of the land for the trust beneficiaries. State officials inspected three other companies recently, the largest though, Biner Cattle Company, which is a subsidiary of Freeport McMorrin. It's leasing more than 8,500 acres of state land. According to Mojave County officials, the company pumps several hundred million million gallons of water from the state's groundwater supply every year. Some of that water potentially goes to its mining operations. Meanwhile, Governor Hobbs created the Groundwater Policy Council to create laws to protect the state's groundwater. I'm not going after agriculture. Um, this, this, these particular leases are in a transportation basin, which is unique um, uh, w from all the other places where there are agricultural leases on state trust land. And Fondo Monte released a new statement this afternoon saying in part that it is going to appeal the governor's decision to end its lease in Butler Valley. So it looks like there's a battle that's starting to brew there. We also reached out to Freeport McWarren for a comment on this story, but so far we haven't received any replies to our inquiry from them. Reporting live, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.